Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. In today's video we're doing these 500 sub series, uh, 500 sub specials. This is going to be a series, some, and I'm going to be filming a new intro. Now, um, we hit 500 subs, and I'm so happy. I'm really happy that we hit 500 subs. It's always been a goal of mine. Actually, my goal is actually to reach up to maybe like... 500 five thousand subs or you know a thousand at least i want to go up there with my what if channel um but thanks to you guys we've already hit 500 subs and i'm very happy because this channel was originally a fishing channel then went on to gaming and then um uh, text to speech fan uh what ifs um and then now we're doing my own variation to the what is and you guys seem to like them but not as much as the fan face but i'm not bringing those back if i'm being honest i might continue them on my on another channel but then that's going to be three channels i'll have to record and upload on and i don't have the time to manage all that i really don't if i did i would but i don't so i'm only going to be recording on two channels which will be the aristotle clan what if channel along with my own what if channel which both channels will be linked in the description along with Discord. So yes, now this is the 500 Cell series. I've already this is after recording the first part of the series. So this is what if Naruto was the Fire God. I'm still deciding on what PNG I want the thumbnail to be. If you see, if I decide, if you see the thumbnail now, is say Sage Mode Naruto. If that's the thumbnail I go with, that's the original Naruto for the PNG or render that I use. Well, I'm looking for a new one, a better one, but I can't really find one, so it might be the same one. I'm not sure yet. But I hope you guys enjoy the series, truly. I like I love the series. I will like to do the series. I'll be uploading it every day. Once a day. Once a day on each channel. I will try to upload once a day on each channel. Or at least during the week. I will focus on one series for or two series for a week. One for the Aristotle and one for my channel. So yeah. Now, I do have a Discord server. This is the official announcement. I did announce it in the others, but this is an official announcement of the Discord server. So go check it out. The link in the description. We have polls. We have renders. You can get into thumbnail making in there. All types of different things. Um. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys later. Get. Let's get into the intro. Wait a wait, nigga. So, um, this what it really starts out uh, after Hagoromo died. Now, you guys may be wondering, um, what is the what if? Well, since if you've seen the intro, you see that I don't really start. I don't say the name of the whatever. It's because it's a safe space on my hard drive for me to record. So I'll record a new intro, like if it's like a not a movie, but more of a special, like a six hundred so special, five hundred so special, which this might actually be. I'm not sure yet. So yeah. Now, um, like as I said, this is what if Naruto. Well, um, if it's not been stated, if you guys didn't know, this is what if Naruto was a fire god. It's not going to probably not going to be a movie. Maybe will be. Now, this is what if starts. <clears throat> it. Okay, if I'm being honest, with Naruto's life, it starts off truly in Shippuden. Well, during the time skip, the three-year time skip that Naruto went through, training with Jiraiya. That's where everything starts. But we're going to go to the start of the story. or well, not the, the series, but back to, to then, after Hagoromo died. So, when Hagoromo died, um, a god had taken favor to Kurama. Kurama himself has had the strongest capabilities of using fire than other than the other tail beasts. Stronger than Kokuo, stronger than Matata Beam, stronger than Son Goku. Kurama had the strongest fire release. So this god Kagasuchi took Kurama in under his wing and taught him everything. But one day Kagasuchi would would have been mind controlled by Indra himself into killing into trying to kill Kurama. Or weaken him enough for Indra to take his power. Along with Indra trying to take Kagasuchi's blade. Which you guys, which my Bleach fans might hate me for. I will be bringing in a, a blade from Bleach. And you go, if it's a, if, if Naruto is a fire god, you can already know what blade this is. So yeah. And no, it's not going on, so it's not going to be a soul reaper. It's just going to have a blade. The blade is most likely just going to boost his power so 
<clears throat> now, Kurama, well, it would have taken Kurama a long time, but Kurama would have eventually defeated Kagasuchi. Because Indra putting him mind controlling can weaken Kagasuchi considerably, enough for Kurama to fight him. Now, when Kagas Kagasuchi would have been free from the um from the mind control when Kurama would have defeated him and he was on his deathbed. So K Kagasuchi would do one thing. He would have told Kurama about a prophecy, saying that he had already seen him being mind controlled coming. He had already seen that coming. He would tell Kurama that there will be someone, uh, um, someone born, a boy, that, um, a boy that is, will be born. And that boy, Kurama would eventually see something in that boy. As he would then, as before, uh, he continues, Kagasuchi would give Kurama his power, telling Kurama that when that boy comes, Kurama is to pass on his power to him. But how he would know that that boy is the person he is looking for is when his blade Ryujin Jaka comes to the boy. That is how he knows that that boy is the next fire god. And Kurama would be saddened by this. The only person who took care of him, besides, and the only person who cared about him besides his siblings and Ashura has just died. The person he, Kurama will see as his best friend. And this would actually start Kurama's hatred for the Uchiha. Or for the Sharingan, actually. So... Kagasuchi would die giving Kurama his power and Kurama would become the next fire god. The second fire god himself, Kurama. Now, Kurama would live on for centuries and things like that and we all know how the rest of the events would play out. Madara would come, use Kurama to fight Hashirama. Hashirama uh, Mito would seal Hash Kurama into her. Kurama then would be transferred into Kashina and Kashina when he was released, blah, 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 into Naruto. So, this is where we time skip to around... He actually in towards the end of the valley at the end. Now, once Sasuke leaves, um, Kakashi would arrive, but Kakashi could see something heading straight for them. A, it seems like an asteroid is heading straight towards Naruto. But when he uses Sharingan to try to see if he could stop it, he will see that this is it's not an asteroid. There's a wooden, there's a staff heading towards Naruto. And so, you know, he would think, why is the staff heading towards Naruto? But we'll grab Naruto. But we'll see that the staff has basically changed trajectories as following him. So he would place this, he would place Naruto down and would sit down in front of Naruto. The blade or the staff would stop in front of Kakashi and would then transform into a sword. As Kurama sees this, Kurama finally understands. This boy is the next fire god. Now, Kurama would be extremely happy because Naruto not only impressed him, because during the fight with Sasuke, Kurama was pushing as much chakra as he wanted, but Naruto was holding back Kurama's chakra. Kurama was pushing at least six tails worth of chakra into Naruto, but Naruto knew his limit was three tails, so Naruto used his chakra to fight off Kurama's of three tails with a chakra so that he could fight Sasuke without losing control and killing him so Kurama, Kurama was really impressed by Naruto so Kurama will pull Naruto into the mindscape and now Kakashi will try um back in Rural Kakashi will try to grab the staff or the sword actually only for it to burn him Kakashi will reach his hand back he will jump away but forgets Naruto is, you know, he kind of forgot that Naruto was there because the staff did kind of, you know, it was interesting. It turned from a staff to a sword or an, or a um, cane to a sword. It depends on what you got. I believe it was a staff. So, uh, um, now, um, Naruto, um, the sta uh, the sword would then head towards Naruto's hand. As it would, as it would fall into Naruto's hands, as Naruto would then grip the sword tight. Now, back within his mind came, Naruto would wake up. Kurama would say, come here, boy. Come here, Naruto Uzumaki. As Naruto would head off towards where the voice is coming from. As the voice says, um, you're getting closer. Naruto now recognizes where he's going. The QB is calling out to Naruto. As Naruto then says, Fox, what do you want? As QB says, I'm here to bestow upon you a gift. A gift that was bestowed upon me, 
to bestow upon a person that will be chosen. Now Naruto is, you know, skeptical, saying, "I don't want any power from you. I'll get, I'll get strong myself." As Kurama says, "Boy, you don't understand. This power was meant for you." There was a prophecy, thousands of years ago, of a boy being born, that will become the next fire god. You, Naruto, are that boy. As Naruto will be shocked. Naruto is to become the next fire god, but isn't Sasuke more of a fire, more of a fire type than he is? Kurama says, "I can hear your thoughts, and yes, that is true." Well, that is actually not true because Ryujin of um, this. I can tell because Ryujin Jaka has come towards you. Ryujin Jaka, after, um, <clears throat> after, it had um after its original wielder and its first wielder had died, Ryujin Jaka had went to Earth, only to be claimed by the strongest fire users. While your main affinity may be wind. With Ryujin Jaka now, and the power I will be now be bestowing upon you, your main affinity will be fire, along with gaining the affinity for lightning, earth, and water. <clears throat> and not only that, Naruto, you will be gaining memories of how to use this power. You will train to, you will learn every attack for this power, along with, then, Learning to master those powers. Just because you know them doesn't mean that they are mastered. It's not a double nod. Kurama says, now come to me, boy. Know my name. I am Kurama, the Nine-Tailed Fox, the son of Hagoromo Otsutsuki, the Sage of Six Paths, the brother to the other tail beast and to Ashura Otsutsuki, and the brother trying to be removed from Indra Otsutsuki. He, you know, he really hates Indra. Indra basically killed Kurama's best friend. It's actually how Kurama started out to hate, become a being of hatred. Now, Kurama also knows about his father's prophecy about a kid being born that will bring all the Tell Beasts together. So Kurama's thinking, maybe this boy is that kid. But, you know, for now, we're going to be focusing on something else. <clears throat> now, moving on. Um, Kurama will tell Naruto to go towards that, come here, as Kur Naruto would do this, as Kurama would hold out his hand, as a giant fire, like, a, f a symbol of fire would come, like, it's fire itself making a symbol, like, a drawing, you know how some people would draw fire, it's basically that, but it's real, and it's made of real fire, would appear, as Kurama says, now boy, grab out towards the power, and it shall become yours, grab or Grab out towards the flame, and it shall be yours to command. Say this activa activation word, Kagasuchi. So Naruto will touch the flame, and we then yell, Kagasuchi. As Naruto would then be engulfed in flames, so would his outside body. Now, Naruto's body is going under ch undergoing changes so that he can handle it. Now, Kurama is going back to thinking about the last person to wield Ryujin Jaka, a man by the name of Yamamoto Uzum Uzumaki Yamamoto. I know his name, that's not his name, but we're just gonna go with that. Yeah, yes, Yamamoto did exist in this world, but he was an Uzumaki. He was actually the starter of the Uzumaki clan. He did have red hair, and he was the strongest fire user. Being stronger than even Maru Uchiha and Hashirama Senju, and with the help of Ryuji and Jaka, that only boosted his power. He was the last world of Ryuji and Jaka. And this is over a century ago. And when he fought Mashu, Hashirama and Madara, he was really old. A very old soul. He didn't die until after Konoha had formed, and after Mito had married Hashirama, seeing as how he was Mito's great grandfather along with Kushina's great 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 grandfather so Mito is Kushina's grand aunt great grand aunt is something like that <clears throat> now 
Um, Kakashi seeing Naruto and go for flames will then begin to go through hand signs and see what they say. Water style, water dragon jutsu, as he will shoot out a water dragon to try to cool down Naruto, but it won't work. But soon, Naruto would open his eyes and Kakashi could see this. Now, Naruto's entire body has turned into a flame, and Naruto begins to grow flame wings as Naruto jumps up to the ground, um, or begins to float up in the sky. As when the flames finally dissipate, Naruto is a lot taller. He's actually very taller, a lot more muscular. His body's a lot more defined. His muscles a lot more compact. He's a lot stronger. Kakashi can sense that his chakra reserves have been boosted, and he can just feel fire from inside of Naruto. Now Kakashi will grab Naruto before Naruto, when Naruto falls out, out of the sky or falls from the, uh, from where he was levitating at, and would uh, get him. He would then, um, with Naruto still having Ryujin Jaka in his hand, would take Naruto back to Konoha. And when Naruto would eventually wake up, Naruto would wake up in the hospital with Jiraiya and Tsunade watching over him. Naruto would say, Tsunade, Granny Tsunade, where we say, it's, what, are you, what are you doing here? Naruto would wake up saying, where's Sasuke? And Jiraiya and Tsunade would get a simple look saying, he's gone Naruto. And Naruto begins to grip his blankets tightly. He says, damn it. I couldn't even keep my promise. No, I will keep my promise. I'll train hard and I'll bring back Sasuke. As Jiraiya tells Naruto to give up on Sasuke. He's going He's going down the same path that he did. He tried to bring back Orochimaru, but never succeeded. He says the path Naruto's going down is a path of for fools. And Naruto says he doesn't care. He'll remain a fool. As Kurama would then tell Naruto, he's right, boy. If it comes to it, you will have to eliminate Sasuke Uchiha. Naruto's eyes will widen as he would say, Kurama, what are you talking about? Naruto, the fire god himself has been watching over the world. There's more of a god of order. He has been keeping order, and if that Uchiha gets too out of hand, it is your job as a fire god not to give him a second chance. You won't even give him a chance to talk about it. You must eliminate him on the spot. I will teach you that. I will teach you. I will make you strong enough to where you can just eliminate him on the spot. You will keep your promise to Sakura. You can bring him back. But he won't be alive. Nata says I... He, I'll have to kill him, won't I? Yes. The path that the boy has taken... You most definitely have to kill him. And Naruto begins to cry. Jiraiya seeing this would tell Naruto to cheer up. If he wants to bring back Sasuke, he'll make him strong. And when they'll tell Naruto about the training trip, telling Naruto that they leave in three days to go on a three on a three year training trip. I was gonna say week for some reason, but a three year training trip. And Naruto would nod. Skirama says that, that that'll be perfect. He'll finally be able to make him strong enough to um, he'll make him strong enough, you know, teach him how to wield Ryuji and Jaka and things like that to make him strong enough to become to take the mantle of the next fire god. So this is where we time skip to around three days later. Naruto is at the gate with um Tsunade, Shizune, Kakashi, Sakura, Shikamaru, Hinata, well the Konoha eleven, all being there wishing him good luck. And to become um to be back when he comes back to be stronger. But, you know, all of Konoha 11 did notice Naruto was a lot taller. Naruto looked older, too. He looked like he was around 16. But that's just how his body grew out to be. He, he'll still grow. Naruto would not. And him and Jirai would set off. Now, Jirai would then tell Naruto, what is he going to do now? As Naruto says, he has some training that he wants to do. But he wants to con better control the Naruto's chakra and become better at using the Rasengan. Along with becoming a better Toad Summoner. As Jiraiya would nod. And this would commence their training. Kurama would then tell Naruto about his training. His Kenjutsu training. With using Ryujin Jaka. Telling Naruto that Ryujin Jaka is a Zanpak Toad. A sp it has a spirit sealed within a sword. The sword is sentient. And Naruto must fight this the sword spirit. To gain his power. He must first... Well, he must first, well, yeah, he must hear his name for both, uh, for both forms, which is 
It's not going to be a bank. It's kind of like Shika and Bankai, but not the same exactly, if I'm being honest. Um, it's more of a power-up. I don't want to give Naruto a Bankai and a Shinkai, making him a Soul Reaper. I don't want to do that. I, actually, I will be making doing it. What if Naruto had his own plateau once I finish the Thousand Year Blood War arc? Because I do need to get more detail with other Bankais, which I will be um, putting into Naruto's. So, yeah. Or uh, other Shikai, Bankai, other Zanpato, or things like that. Damn, but moving on, yes. So, Naruto would not. This is where we time skip three years. Now, Jiraiya's been extremely um happy with Naruto. Naruto told Jiraiya everything, and Jiraiya told Naruto everything. Told him about him being his godfather, who his father was, who his mother was. And Naruto was extremely happy to have found out that the fourth Hokage believed in him, and that's why he sealed the Ninetales within him. Kurama even confirmed this from Naruto, saying that the fourth Hokage wouldn't have sealed the Ninetales within him if he didn't believe in him. And Naruto was extremely happy. <clears throat> now, moving on. They will be heading back to Konoha. Naruto wearing a basic, um, you've seen Rengoku's cape, Naruto will be wearing that. With Ryujin Jaka, um, being basically using, uh, was actually in its release form. Not really release form. And it, I want to say, it's, it's just a sword on his side, actually, at the time. He can change it back into its cane or stick. Oh, not really. Damn, what the hell is the fucking stick? It's, um, his staff form and things like that. He can change it back, but Naruto chooses to keep it as a sword in its sword form. Um, Naruto... They learned a lot of abilities. And you become a lot stronger. And you guys may be wondering, how strong would Naruto become? Now. Oh, I haven't finished going over his outfit. So, we'll go, we'll go over his outfit right quick and then we'll get into it. So, Naruto actually has a black shirt. Just a black shirt under that with, um, with black pants. Black shoes and black tape around his um, ankles, like how Kakashi is. Just ma imagine it all black with no Joni vest and a black T-shirt with Rengoku's um flame with Rengoku's Hashira cape on, and um on in on the cape has a kanji for Fire God, Fire God Naruto or um, Kagasuchi or Fire God. I'm 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 comp I'm still you know. Deciding on whether I want him to be named, have the kanji being Fire uh, Fire God or Kagasuchi, or Fire God Kagasuchi. I'm not sure, but yeah. <clears throat> so moving on, Naruto will be heading back, and Jiraiya will tell Naruto that he's really proud to, to be his to be his master and his godfather. And Naruto will thank Jiraiya. Naruto, you know, made you know, him and Jiraiya trained a lot, and Naruto. Oh yeah, as I said, Naruto's gotten a lot stronger. And where I would rank Naruto is. Easily, I want to say easily around his Baryon mode level. Um, if he was to go all out, and you go, he doesn't go all out all the time. But without Barry, um, if he wasn't to go all out, I'm like using his Shikai, or as you, um, his first form of Ryujin Jaka, he would be at least adult Naruto, um, adult Naruto form, like Hokage Naruto without Baryon mode. He's that strong. That's how strong he is. And that's what I'm um, using his Shikai. Without using his around teenage Naruto six pass sage mode. Hey, some people might be arguing, oh, isn't six pass sage mode teen Naruto stronger than adult Naruto? For me personally, I think somewhat no I don't really think so. I believe Naruto does still have six pass sage mode. It's just that Naruto's fighting a lot stronger opponents. Okay, besides Momoshiki. But yeah, he's fighting a lot stronger opponents, and it doesn't really seem as strong as it was. But with Naruto also constantly having to limit himself with him, basically, when he's called Naruto the Goddess Shinobi in Boruto. So yeah. <clears throat> Naruto's also learned Sage Mode from Jiraiya, so there's that. So yeah. Now, um, days later, they would arrive in Konoha and would be greeted by Kakashi. Kakashi says, yo, he says, wow, Naruto, you really changed your outfit. I like it. Naruto would say, thank you, Kakashi-sensei. 
I really appreciate it. Because he didn't um, walk with Naruto. As he reads to the back of his um, cape. As he reads it says. Fire God. I'm just going to go with Fire God for now. And you know. Kakashi's extremely suspicious about that. He asks Jiraiya what's that about. Jiraiya says. <laughs> Kakashi. I'm, as he would put Kakashi aside. And would say Kakashi. When I tell you this boy is the Fire God himself. He is the Fire God himself. And Kakashi shot. He says. What? Jiraiya says, bro. He told me something. He said that the there. You remember the fire guy Kagasuchi, the right? The myth about fire guy Kagasuchi, how strong he was. That he was even stronger than the Sage of Six Pass himself. He was probably one of the strongest beings out there. He said yes. Well, apparently he existed, and uh, he took on the Nine Tails, basically. As an apprentice, you know, so this was how Naruto would have said it. And the, um, when Kagasuchi died, he had bestowed his power to not to the Nine Tails, making the Nine Tails the next Fire God. And then the Nine Tails did bestow that power upon, upon Naruto, causing Kakashi's eyes to widen. Kakashi says, "Naruto's the yes, Naruto's the Fire God." And Kakashi would be extremely shocked by this. He says, "Wow, I'm really proud of him." To become so strong and over a little time, Jirai says, Kakashi, this kid now is easily Kage level. Easily on the level of the Sages, uh, probably maybe the Sages is past, or even Hashirama Senju. Maybe even surpassing Hashirama. As Kakashi would say, what? Yes. That's without using his sword. As Kakashi looks at Naruto as he sees a sword imprint within his cape. This is what's so special about his sword. He says, you remember the legend about the blade Ryuzen Chaka, the one that was wielded by Uzumaki Yamamoto, right? The one that was stronger than modern Hashirama? Yes. It stated that um, he was he, he built a blade by the name of Ryuzen Chaka, which is actually the blade of Kagasuchi, the fire god. Well, Naruto has that freaking blade. Kakashi, you know, Kakashi is extremely, you know, extremely shocked by this. The dead last, the one at, at a time, the weakest of his students is now, now a fire god. And he couldn't be happier because he knows Naruto is his sensei's son. Naruto finally got the power that he deserved, the power to become a Kage. He can finally achieve his dream if he, if he chose to. As Naruto, I mean, as Kakashi would then be very proud of him. say, Minata Sensei, I wish you could be here with him now to raise him. I wish you and Kasina had survived. But I'll make sure to look after Naruto and make him even stronger. Even though there's probably not much I can teach Naruto now. As they finally make it to the Kage's office, Tsunade sees Naruto. Tsunade is extremely happy and runs up and hooks Naruto, along with Shizune. And Sakura, who's in the office, and Sakura didn't. Um, Jirai told them that they, that they would be back next month, but not this early. Which they were going to be, but Naruto. The last thing Naruto actually learned was Sage Mode, and he, um, the told to told Jirai um, when Naruto started training that he will take him at least two um, two months to train him, and Naruto learned to shit within a week. Well, um, yes, or um, actually a week, uh, not two months, but like a month and um, like two weeks. So they came ahead of schedule. So Tsunade would be extremely happy to see Naruto. Since that he's grown very uh very tall and Naruto has. Naruto when he left the village was around five foot four. And when he came down that he's back, Naruto's around six foot eight, six six nine. No, six foot eight, six ten is somewhere in there. I'll hold a poll in my Discord in a little bit after recording this on what height he'll be officially. So yeah. And Naruto would say yes, Tsunade. I miss you guys too. As he would hug all three of them back. And Sakura says, wow Naruto, you must have gotten really strong. Be very strong if you have fire guy riding on your cape. Naruto said, begin, um, says you have no idea. As Tsunade says, then where's Jiraiya at? As Naruto would say, would point out towards the window. And Tsunade would turn around to see Jiraiya. As Jiraiya would say, hey. Kid stole all the attention, didn't he? So so selfish. As Tsunade says, "Well, well, we are 
only really happy to see him Jiraiya, if we're being honest. Jiraiya will drop his head. I'm being extremely, extremely saddened by that. I mean, if the girl you like told you that she was happy to see someone else over you, then yeah, 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 it's to be really, um, really um, sad about that. Yeah. Now, Naruto would have, um, basically, uh, Naruto would have told them that he has to go. And Tsunade would say, wait, Naruto. Naruto would look at her. And Tsunade would then grab something. She would then give Naruto, saying that she can sense the, that Naruto's power is so strong that she's able to sense it. And she's a terrible, um, sensor ninja. Sensory type ninja. And she can just sense Naruto's power. Naruto's easily... And she, um, Joni level, and that's the power that Naruto's letting, Naruto's holding his power back, but he can't hold it all back, so he's just showing his Joni level of power, and it's so vast, well, that, that's how much Tsunade can sense, actually. And Naruto will not even take a vest, being this being the Joni vest, and Naruto will put it, take his cape off, and will put it on. Naruto says, well, I gotta go now. So Naruto disappears. As his body, as everyone just sees this, his body basically is just becomes flames and then disperses. Then Naruto appears in front of his apartment. He walks in to see Konohamaru cleaning his apartment for him. And Naruto says, Konohamaru? So Konohamaru would turn around and would say, Boss, is that you? And Naruto would say, Yeah, what are you doing here? Konohamaru would then tell Naruto that, well, um,. He was cleaning his apartment because he was supposed to be here next month, but, you know, he came early. Because he would be happy to Naruto and would ask Naruto that he knows that he got a lot stronger. And would then ask Naruto a personal question. He would then ask Naruto, Could you, would you make me your apprentice? And, you know, this would shock Naruto. Naruto's always, Naruto and Konohamaru were very brotherly, or rivalry. But now for Konohamaru to ask him to become his apprentice, Naruto's extremely happy and will hug Konohamaru saying, of course, saying to meet him at the training ground tomorrow. And he'll be personally taking him under his wing. Now, back with Tsunade. Tsunade would ask Jiraiya, Jiraiya, what are all the things Naruto's learned? Jiraiya says, Sakura, I, best, I think it's best if you leave. Sakura says, oh, but I really want to know. But okay, bye Tsunade-sama. I'm a lady. Whatever the fuck she calls Tsunade. I don't even know why she calls her a lady. I mean, Tsunade is bad as fuck. But still, I'm more of an Eno person than a Tsunade. I really like Tsunade. She's probably the second favorite. But I'm more of an Eno person. But moving on. Sakura will leave and Jirai will say, Hey Tsunade, um, read this book. As Jirai will bring out a book of myths. She said, now read this book. This section of the book, he says, the, f the fire guy Kagasuchi says, Yes, tell me if you recognize some of the things Naruto was wearing. As he sees Naruto, not Naruto, yeah, she doesn't see Naruto, she sees, um, she reads about fire, the fire guy Kagasuchi. Then the Kagasuchi was to write, um, was to watch over the world and was to become, well, basically, um, the god of order along with the fire god. As soon as it will all click, she saw Naruto's back on Naruto's cape. It said, Red the Fire God. And she would then read about a blade that Kagasuchi held. And she would then see as it, it looked exactly like the blade of which Naruto was wearing, or Naruto had the blade of Ryuji and Jaka. And she would say, Jiraiya, what's happening? As Jiraiya would then tell Tsunade what Naruto told her, told him about him becoming the next, the new fire god, telling him about the history between Kagesuchi and the Tell Beasts, telling him who the Tell Beasts actually are, being the children of the Sages of the Six Paths themselves, along with Naruto being the the next fire, the third fire fire god after the Nine Tails itself. And Tsunade, and would then tell um, Tsunade about how Naruto's blade, Naruto easily is stronger than probably Hashirama himself. And that's without using his sword. His sword grants him two powers. Well, a power-up. As far as Ryan knows, Naruto only has one power-up. He has two, but Naruto chooses not to use that because it makes Naruto's power so strong that he could lose control. If, and Naruto hasn't trained enough to control it yet. 
so obviously Tsunade will be a gate to see says. So and, but then she will be smart as he gets a smart saying, So you're telling me the kid is strong enough to become the whole Kai game, right? Is right says Tsunade, you're not getting out of the job that easily. Naruto needs to gain experience to become the next Okage. Something he doesn't have. So I says, damn. I really thought I was going to get out of this job. As Naruto, um, as, not Naruto, I, I, again, coming off the top of the head, Sanade would then say, well, we must groom him to become the next Okage. From now on, Naruto is to become my successor. Try not to says he also learned Sage Mode within a week. Causing everyone to freeze. Cause they look at him and he says, He said you say what now? He learned stage mode within a week. Perfect perfected stage mode. Not my stage mode. Per perfect stage mode. Naruto stage mode never came Naruto never even came close to my stage mode. When he first entered stage mode, it was in a perfect stage mode. It wasn't in my very variation of stage mode. Well now I'm able to enter the same stage mode as Naruto. Because Naruto also pushed me to train myself so that I would always be stronger, try to be stronger than him. But he surpassed me long ago. He probably surpassed me within the first six months of our, our training trip. And Tsunade was jaw dropped. And Tsunade says, yes, definitely Naruto is to be my successor in case anything happens. That's right or not. They would all dismiss each other. Or Tsunade would dismiss them. Now, Naruto. Um, as I said, Naruto is easily Kage level. And you guys may be wondering, what, what am I talking about? Now, you'll see soon. Now, Naruto, in this hidden sand village, Gara is currently fighting Daedara. When Gara will see that Daedara is about to blow him up, Gara will pull something out of his pocket. A, a flaming, um, not a ring, um. <clears throat> a kunai. As Gara will begin to channel chaka through his kunai. As a person would appear in front of him. A person engulfed in flames. As the entirety of Suna and is lit up as a bright light emerges. As Naruto says, Gara, where's the problem at? Naruto flows um uses his fire wings to float down towards where Gara is. As Gara says, Naruto, good you're here. Naruto, he says he's too strong for me. The Akatsuki, they're here. Defeat them for me. As Gara passes out, Naruto catches Gara and flows down towards Tamari. As Tamari says, Naruto, you're here. Naruto says, well, Gara did summon me. See, Naruto, yes, he says, you actually know that you too? Naruto says, I know a variation of it. Mine is a lot stronger though. And Naruto says, now, as Naruto b wings begin to emerge, as Naruto takes up to the sky, as he stops right in front of Dator, as Dator says, and you are, as Naruto says, I am the fire god, but you may know me as Naruto Uzumaki, or the Naruto Senchuriki, Dator, Dator the Mad Bomber. As Dator will say, huh? So you're the Nantes and Tricky. You don't seem too strong for me. Naruto will say, yeah. And as Data will then send an explosion at Naruto, but Naruto will let it him and let him send it to the ground. As Naruto's wings will drop. Hmm. And Naruto will fall to the ground as Naruto will get back up. As Naruto's entire body will be engulfed in flames. As he says, emergence. As Naruto begins to spin as a tornado comes out. And when a tornado disappears, out comes a phoenix. As Naruto is turned into a phoenix. A freaking phoenix. And this phoenix, you might be like, oh, is it like Marco type phoenix? No, this the his flames are black and white. Nah, that, that actually doesn't seem cool. This is like a, a phoenix of white and um, blue flames. No, 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 white and green flames. <clears throat> As Naruto then flies towards, no, we just say um like a normal fire phoenix. If normal fire, the phoenix is basically made of normal fire, kind of like Marco. As Naruto will then full speed towards the guard. As Naruto.
would say, huh? So you think you could take me on? The fire god, huh? That's not so within the say. <clears throat> Phoenix flame bombs. As Naruto be, um, screeches as a um, when he opens his mouth, a giant, sh a um, a bunch of tiny phoenixes made of just plain fire. This is elemental manip elemental manipulation. Would come shooting out of Naruto's mouth, shooting towards Dada. As Dada would try, would use his clay, but the blade birds would go. His phoenixes would go straight through the birds. They have more of a homing missile, and they won't stop. Nothing can stop them unless Naruto tells them to, or they hit their target. So nothing will, they can't be sealed away or none of that. And this is what makes this ability so strong. As Naruto drops out of his phoenix form, as Naruto just has normal wings on his back, normal flaming wings on his back. As they, as the birds all um, diverge on Dara, blowing up his clay bird, causing Dara to be stopped in front of, um, being caught in the explosion. Dater is sent, then sent to the ground as he gets up shakily. As Sasori appears towards where Naruto is, in front of Dater, she says, hmm, it seems that this is a failure. Dater, get out of here. I'll take care of him. As before he can do anything, Sasori's entire puppet is destroyed. As Naruto appears behind Sasori with his hand on fire. It's not just that wasn't even a normal attack. That was just me using my bare strength just to beat you. As Sasori says, he's so fast and strong. I didn't even see him. As Sasori would say, well, well then, how about this? As Naruto's hand would light a blaze. As Naruto would then say, Crescent Sun. As he begins to draw a, um, a crescent, like a crescent moon, but it's, it begins to light like the sun. And Naruto would then say, chop. And Sasori's out of his real body. Now, what the crescent sun chop actually does is, um, with the help of, with Naruto seeing that, data, that Sasori is a true puppet, it can be controlled into one, two different things. It can be to where Naruto can just strike anywhere, or whenever Naruto strikes, the strike automatically um, is more um, um, wherever Naruto hits the strike. The power of that strike it will feel like you've been attacked on your vital organs, which it will. So those of which are vital. This is a killing technique and more of an uh, more of an assassination technique than a shidori. And Naruto, but Naruto is so fast and so precise with it that he can use the first variation where he can just strike anywhere, but it'll still kill sorcery. As Naruto strikes his heart. With a chop directly to it. As Sasori heart breaks apart. As Naruto then begins to transform into full flames. As Naruto is melting Sasori's entire body. As Gar says no. He's going supernova. As Naruto's going becoming so hot that he's. Well he's hotter. He's almost as hot as the sun. Not yet but he's going to be as hot as the sun. As Naruto basically gets rid of all of Sasori's body, no ashes are left behind. Naruto can become Naruto's flames are stronger than that of Amaterasu, which he can also use those too, because it's a type of fire. He can use also use lava release, ball release, because this is fire consistent. He can use lightning release in a in a sense. He can also use earth, water, wind. Earth, water, wind. Lightning, fire. Yeah, he can use all five elements. I was I had a stupid moment for a second, but yeah, that's what Naruto can use. All five elements. As Naruto destroys Data, um, Sasori's body. As Naruto then takes to the sky after Data, as his entire body is engulfed in flames. As Naruto is basically, as all everyone sees, as Naruto shooting out flames from both his hands and his feet. As Naruto is flying, he can also fly by shooting out flames, kind of like the Human Torch or Firestorm, and um, he can also fly using his wings. So Naruto will catch up to Data and will punch him off of his clay bird. Another one. Sending Dator down to the ground, and Dator is extremely weakened from the attack which Naruto used on him. As Naruto will then tell Dator that it's over now, that he'll that he'll see Sasori pretty soon. 
as Naruto would then say, would then say, Sunstrike. No, 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 not Sunstrike. Um, what do I want it to be? Um, Sun, Heavenly Palm Strike. Yeah, that's what I like. Um, Fire Gods, Heavenly Palm Sun, Palm Strike, Heavenly Palm Strike, something like that. As Naruto, and we'll begin to let it blaze. As Naruto would then draw a sun, like, or draw a circle with flames, like, drawing, in, drawing a circle in one direction, then over there drawing another circle, and then over there drawing another circle. And it would then become a circle, like a, like a full spear. As the power then condenses into both of Naruto, um, then flows into Naruto. As the power of Naruto just produced, then, um, goes to his hands. To his, well, to his entire arm. As Naruto's entire arm lets blaze. Naruto says, strike! As Naruto runs towards Data. As Naruto then strikes him in the chest. Melting his lungs with that strike. I want to say, um, he hasn't, he didn't hit him right where his heart was. So he only melted his lungs. Zero feelings his lungs melted, you know, began to cough up blood. Or more or less, fire is what he began to cough up. As Naruto would then say, second strike. As Naruto would then strike Daedara's stomach, pulverizing his stomach and his liver. Or uh, basically burning his stomach and his liver. liver. Naruto says, final strike. Heart's ending. As Naruto would then strike Daedara directly with his heart, says, killing Daedara on the spot. As Naruto would then grab Daedara. As they are spitting out flames, as he says, Guess is the end for me. I didn't even get to use my art against you. As Naruto then says, No, you didn't. As Naruto's entire body is engulfed in flame, as he begins to release flames that are so hot that it melts Dator's body along with his clay. It's so hot that his clay isn't even able to um, detonate. Which I know his dater has to put chakra in and mold them for them to be, you know, explosive clay. But we didn't say they have an explosive capability to them already. So they wouldn't, you know, the flames would be so hot that it would basically neutralize the explosion. As dater, as Naruto finally lets go, as dater's ashes flow throughout the wind, leaving no DNA of dater's behind. Zetsu, no, no, no Zetsu. Now, I was going to say Zetsu was going to be there, but no. Naruto would then fly back towards Sand Village. Naruto would appear. As Gar is finally awake again. As Gar says, have they been taken care of? As Naruto would nod. As Gar would say, good. Thank you, Naruto. I really appreciate it. As Naruto says, no worries, Gar. You are my friend. Mm. Probably my best friend. And then not, you guys are wondering, what are you talking about? Naruto did spend a lot of time in Suna during his three-year training trip. He spent... Naruto doesn't consider Sasuke his best friend anymore. He just sees Sasuke as somebody that he might eventually have to... He either bring him back to the village or he will eliminate him. If Sasuke goes too far off the right path. Sasuke's already off the right path. But if Sasuke becomes a threat to a lot of people, Naruto will eliminate him. As Naruto is a god of order also. He must watch over the world. Which means Naruto is actually now immortal. Maybe his descendants. His descendants will also be immortal too. Along with his wife. Or if multiple. I still haven't chosen yet. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> Naruto. Will then say. I'm sorry this happened to you Gar. If only I had been here. Your village wouldn't have been attacked in the first place. As Gar says. No worry Naruto. Have they been taken care of? Naruto says both have been taken care of. No DNA left behind. So Orochimaru won't be able to reanimate them. Anybody who knows any type of reanimation jutsu won't be able to use them. As Dry did explain to Naruto about the reanimation jutsu. Seeing as how they talked about it on the way back when, um, on the way back from getting, receiving Tsunade. Uh, when you know Naruto asked Dry how Orochimaru was planning on bringing back Tsunade's loved ones, so yeah. As Dick Garo said, "Good." Gar says, "You have my thanks." As Tamari and Conqueror say, "Ours too." Naruto will nod. 
as Naruto says, it's now time for me to go. As Naruto bodies engulfed in flames again, as Naruto begins to spin, and out emerges a giant dragon. As Naruto roars and then leaves, flying away towards Konoha. Before he enters Konoha, before anyone in Konoha can notice him, Naruto will drop down to the ground and with um and would then begin to fly using his wings. As Naruto would appear in front of Tsunade. Tsunade would say, Naruto, where have you been? We've been looking for you. And you guys may be wondering, how did Tamari get there? Tamari wasn't, um, Nar like I said, T Naruto came back a month earlier than the series would have started. So, um, then what the series would have actually started there. So, Tamari didn't yet go to come to Konoha yet. And yes, that, uh, with Naruto returning, I would, I did push up the attack of, on the Kazekage. As Naruto would then tell Sonata that Akatsuki had just take, tried to attack Santa, that he was at, at the Sehida San Village. Taking care of it too. As Sinade would then yell at Naruto, telling him that he know how reckless that is. And Naruto would say it's not reckless because I took care of them. They're now dead and they're no, no longer a threat to the world. Those two at least. As Sinade would then ask who. Naruto would say Sasuya the Red Sand and Dator the Mad Bomber. You know, you know on the inside, Sinade is extremely proud. Naruto was able to take on two s rank missing men. And isn't at, in the least hurt. Sinani says, Naruto, you can't be just leaving and taking on opponents like that. You have to get orders from, from me, the Hokage, first. Naruto says, and if I had waited, Gara would have been captured and probably dead by now, by then. By the time I would have came back to, to this, to Suna. Sinani says, you're lucky they're allies with us because of you. And that Gara's your friend. Because if not Naruto, we would have been in extreme. Um, we would have we probably would have gotten. We probably would have started an international incident with this. Naruto says, "But I didn't." I said, "Naruto tells Naruto that's not the point." She would then sign. We'll tell Naruto just to let her know next time he's about to leave. Naruto says, "I guess so." And Tsunade would then give Naruto pay. She's, Naruto then asked, what's this? He says, well, um, I don't know how exactly how much they are worth, but here. This is a, um, this is the payment for your SS rank mission that you just took on yourself. Go to the, um, um, since you don't have any DNA, I'll just vouch for you. And you can go claim the heads of both Sorcery and Daedara. You can go claim their bounties at the Konoha Bounty Collection Agency. Naruto will nod and say, but I'll have to escort you, so you have to wait till tomorrow. Naruto will nod and we'll leave. And this is where we're going to be in the go. Part 1. Oh, what if Naruto was the fire god? And this is actually one of the longest parts of one part ones of any series that I've, well, not that I've done. Of the newer variations of the series where I normally bring, pull out 20 minute, 30 minute videos. Because, you know, I don't want to go back into those hour videos. So, yes, this is the 500 Cell Special. This is the series, the 500 Cell Series Special. So, yes, I'll be focusing on this along with a, ch a series on the Aristotle Clan channel. So, go check that out. I'll be uploading two series a week. One for Aristotle and one for my channel. So, for this week, we'll be doing Fire God Naruto. So, I will see you guys later. Peace and goodbye.